and Nora is here to now share more about her experience. Good to see you. Hey, thank you. So the title of your article is I'll Never Forget where I was when I learned I had melanoma. Uh, when you think back mm -hmm. to that moment, I know you write about it in Good Housekeeping, but what was going through your mind? You know, it was over Thanksgiving, and Dr. Hale had said to me, I'll call you after the Thanksgiving holiday, you know, after the biopsy comes back, but she called me the day after Thanksgiving, and I was out at you know, Bloomingdale's just doing some shopping, getting away, because there were a lot of people staying at our house. And I just, you know, she sent me this email, like, I, you got, we gotta talk immediately. So I sent an email, to my parents and they were like, well, it's probably just basal cell carcinoma. You know, we've all had that which in our is, family, which is a non-melanoma skin cancer. It's fairly common, you know, it's, it's fairly common. Um, so I was really surprised when she said it came back as melanoma um, because I, what I knew about melanoma at the time um, was just how deadly uh, it can be. And she had said, you know, we caught it early, it's 100% curable, it's fine, but I really want to do this surgery as soon as possible. And I said, well, can I do it like after Christmas? You know, we're going to grandma's house for Christmas. And um, so, but the urgency with which she called me also speaks to the deadliness of melanoma. And then since then, I've learned a lot more, which the reason I'm writing about it and sharing this is that hopefully it'll be a reminder to people to get checked. Mm -hmm. This is preventable. Skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer. Melanoma accounts for less than 1% of those, but it is the majority of skin cancer deaths, wow. and it's easy to prevent. I think one of the things that's scary about melanoma is you think about your skin, and you know we notice all sorts of irregularities in our skin all the time. All this mole's been there for the last few years. Was it something that you were checking on on a regular basis, was there an awareness for you? Um, yeah, there was only an awareness that um, you know I should go get a skin cancer, just you know, like the, anybody, the check, just like everybody right. should go every year, according to Dr. Hale. And I had let several years lapse just because busy Life. at work, like yeah. we are. I have three kids. I'm scheduling their doctor's appointments before my own, so it had been a two-year lapse, and then. Um, she found that, but it was on my back, so I didn't see anything right. different on my back. Nobody had noticed that. The interesting thing she says is, Dr. Hale said it's not usually a raised mole, it's a flat mole. That's usually what's suspicious with irregular borders and irregular color, and those are the things that really, and look, we're not, we're not doctors, we're not yeah. dermatologists. They get out of scope and look at them closely. They can tell what's a concern and what's not a concern. Yeah. How has your idea of health and wellness changed after going through something like this? That's a great question. You know, my father happens to be a preventative medicine doctor, so I've grown up even knowing that prevent disease before it becomes disease. The lifestyle choices that you make are so incredibly important. Um, they save money in the healthcare system. I mean, on and on and on. And yet I let my own preventative care lapse mm. um, in terms of going to, you know, I also made poor choices. You know, I'm 43. Uh, I grew up in Texas. There was a lot of sun and sunscreen was not what it is today. Right. You know, we played soccer. We had a pool in our backyard. So we I had lots of sunburns. But I also visited a tanning salon before prom. And going to a tanning salon increases your chance of melanoma by 75%. I can't tell you now, once since I've said this, how many mothers and women who are my age too in their 40s said, I went to a tanning salon, I've gotta go get checked. It just was so pervasive, you I know mean, what I mean? And, and everybody, I mean, you know, it's funny because people, I, I, a hundred years ago, having a tan meant you worked, that you were like working in the fields right. and all of a sudden it switched to being like you live a life of leisure because you're able yeah. to go out and have a tan and so many of us yeah. like to get tan but everybody now understands that a tan is actually damage to the skin. It's mm -hmm. you're burning your skin and for those of us who but have I a little I think people understand it, Nora, but I don't know if they understand the risk. Right. Mm -hmm. Like this, this statistic here in, in the article about how, you know, the, the that First you're more likely, tan. yeah, and you're more likely to get melanoma from tanning than you are cancer, lung cancer from smoking. I, I feel scary. like that is the statistic that's going to really sort of hit people. And one bad know. sunburn in childhood can lead to a whole host of issues down the line. That's right. Those very bad sunburns, which I know I had, mm -hmm. you know, many of them where you just, I can't think about how many times the tip of my nose mm -hmm. right. was, was badly sunburned and certainly um, my back. And so those increase the chances. But if you have young children, you, you slather them up as, as I do, you know, with broad spectrum. It's UVA and UVB. Right. And I think that's new too in the last even just decade about the prevalence of ones that, that, that um, cut out UVA rays, which are also incredibly yeah. uh, damaging. But, and the other thing 
too is, you know, African Americans also need yes, to get skin. Yes, we were going to say. Yeah, yeah, skin because we too. think that you, we have a little bit of melanin and we're and we're fairly Protected. fair skinned, but yeah. we're not that fair skinned. But I, you know, when I'm out in the field, like when I was in Haiti, yeah. the sun, it's 120 degrees and I'm bald. Yeah. So I lathered the stuff on yeah. because I'm just worried that I'm going to get one on the top of my head, which people don't even think about. So many men end up having some skin cancers on right? the top of their head or my father had you know, a, a basal cell on the top of his ear, just right. because you don't think that those those spots get a lot of ear. a lot of. But uh, you know, Bob Marley had died of melanoma right. Right. on his toe, and at, I think it was age like 37. He, right. he was quite young, so everybody needs to get checked. You know, whether you're fair or you have melanin in your yeah. skin, you have to get checked. Yeah, a tan is damaging your skin. There's no two ways about it. Absolutely. No matter how good you look. I know it's hard because I you. do I do love the sun and I do love to be outside. Yeah. yeah. But wear sunscreen. Thank you for sharing your story No, thank you for your interest. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it really just uh, will push a lot of people to go get checked. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Nora. Thank you.